Hi everyone, I'm Ken from Crypto Trading KS. If you're new, welcome and welcome back KS family. Let's run the numbers. Bitcoin currently up 5.06% to 31079. Ethereum up 5.44% to 2136. From my 30 plus years in financial markets, I explained the smart money mindset to assist you to be more of a financial blessing to yourself and those you love, gaining real wealth in the process. If you would like daily updates on price movements in the crypto market, seven days a week, 365 days a year, please subscribe to YouTube. Please consider sharing and liking this video and also subscribing to the channel. We would love to have you as part of our globally extended KS family. What I've done is just to do a quick run through the heat map and it's really important to keep your eyes on how things are moving each and every day. There's a lot of talk about rescue plans for Luna and UST. I would urge just avoiding these two at the moment. It doesn't mean they're deceased. It doesn't mean they can't come back, but they're very, very risky. I've left links in the description of this video such as the Crypto Trading KS Masterclass. And you can also reach out to me anytime and directly message me on Twitter. Crypto technical analysts scientifically track investor attention and investor attention is measured by price, which is reality, not future promises. The first thing that we understand, if we don't have knowledge, we're going to make losses. If our emotions overtake our rational decision-making process, we will make losses as well. A lot of people go all in and all out. That's like a light switch. That's zone one and zone two behavior. Zone one and zone two behavior are also very focused on pushing blame out. If you find yourself blaming, this is a hallmark of zone one and zone two. You want to get out of there as quickly as possible. Now, why do you say that? Ken, what, what's been done to me was wrong. Absolutely, it could have been wrong. But the problem is, it's always part and parcel of any financial market. If you blame, you'll get stuck in zone one and zone two, which is the loss of money zone. You don't want to be there. It's a terrible, terrible, terrible place. And it has so much stress. You want to get out of there as quickly as possible. Zone three and zone four is built on a foundation of positive excellence and a positive excellence life trend. Integrity and decency, not wanting something for nothing is a key of these particular zones. We work hard for what we get and you only actually appreciate what you work hard for. The first thing crypto technical analysts do is they mark up their charts to capture logarithmic or exponential price action using the CTKS method, which was designed to upgrade candlestick pattern analysis. Then they look to outside markets, looking at world events, collecting probabilities. A lot of people just think, just look inside the crypto market. That's all we need to do. Unfortunately, that's not correct. You'll lose money if you just look at crypto. You need to look more broadly, and it takes a long time to realize these things. When we look back inside the crypto market, we're trying to find the market's focus, understanding that opportunities reset daily and enhancing our pattern recognition before we buy and sell. And there's many, many ways to do that. We must have mastery of emotional control. I can look at a person and hear how they speak and know what their profitability will be. If people blame, if they point the finger, their profitability will be 5% of what it could be. And maybe that's overstated. It's really important to learn from the market. The market is always teaching us and the market is always evolving. We need to evolve with it. I want to go through a bit of a speedy, quick news service. Elon Musk foresees huge use case for Dogecoin as he champions Doge as a potential currency. Tron founder talks up new algorithmic stablecoin despite Luna's crash. And Tron has been doing really, really well in the market currently. Please do your own research before you put money anywhere. Ripple XRP price picks up as SEC legal showdown drags on. This is really good. We don't want the SEC to come in and say, hey, guess what? XRP, you're a security. Now you have to register. 
that would cause a lot of problems in the crypto market and a lot of uncertainty. The fact that the case is dragging on as is actually good for the entire crypto market right now. It looks like we'll get a decision possibly in January or February of next year. So what we're looking at is about seven, eight, possibly even nine months away from a decision. Dogecoin enthusiast Elon Musk Twitter deal is in danger as 90% of the platform's daily users are potentially bots. Oh, naughty Twitter. The UK Treasury to push forward with stablecoin regulation and Terra USD's absolutely cataclysmic collapse is not helping the crypto industry. It's actually given the regulators just a handed them a victory in their fight to protect us. A lot of people have been reaching out recently telling me that there's an increase in scammer activity. Rule 407 defeats scammers by extensive research. And they're actually really easy to find. If you just look at Bitcoin on YouTube, you'll see all sorts of scammers. Now, why do I say this is a scammer? Ken, how could you know? Well, there's a couple of things. Chat is disabled for this live stream. When people are legitimate, chat is not disabled. But the way that I can tell, you can see send one Ethereum. Well, that's just about 2100 US dollars and you receive two back. Wow, you make a profit of $2,100. Wow, fantastic. Let's go. You've got to be kidding. They don't, nothing is free in this world. If people actually say that they're going to, wow, why don't you send 250 ETH and we'll give you 500 ETH? It's just fantasy. Oh, but it's Elon Musk. Oh, he's so wealthy. He doesn't need his money. Actually, it's the inverse. Scammers think that you don't need your money and scammers think that you can give two ETH and they'll pretend to give you twice as much back and you'll be OK. You don't need your money. That's actually what scammers think. I don't think scammers are bad people. I think they're just misguided. They don't understand that the people that they take from can't afford to lose their money. I'm looking at KS zone analysis because in zone one and zone two, people feel very entitled. They think that if they put their money in the market, the market should just reward them with profit. Maybe they're not quite sure what they're doing. They've got a gun that looks like this. You can see it's pointing inside, not outside. They fire before they're ready and then they aim. They're not quite sure what's happening, but they think just because they work really hard for their money and everybody works really hard for their money, they should be rewarded. It doesn't work like that. Inside the market, and this is a brutal truth, but I would prefer to tell you what is actually the fact of the market. When people say you can get 100% return and zero loss, that's just fantasy. It's not true. The markets are designed to make you lose, and those losses are your tuition fee. And a lot of people say they pay the tuition fee daily. You can't avoid losses. No one can. And when it comes to earning money and keeping money, making money and keeping money, that's outside zone one and zone two. The high conflict zone of zone two is what happens when people say, well, I lost my money. I should have got it back. Now I'm going to blame. Blame is the single most devastating curse of our entire society. Blame is responsible for untold problems. If you find yourself blaming and it's really natural to blame others, please just be forgiving and look for the learning experience. I'm not saying be forgiving of others. I'm saying being forgiving of yourself and just say, what could I learn here? What was this lesson? Because if you don't learn, you're going to repeat it. And next time it will be more painful. And the next time more painful than that. In zone three, we understand that we only through knowledge and probability, learning and courage, having this three-way decision-making process, understanding percentages, having patience, obeying the rules, making volatility our best friend, we can make money in the market. And you can see that yesterday was pretty red, today's pretty green. That's the way the market goes in crypto, but this is insufficient. Jesse Livermore, who was one, was one of the richest people on the planet and the inventor of day trading, actually committed suicide. It's a tragic, horrible story. And in his suicide note, he said, I am not worthy. 
You are worthy. Everybody is worthy. You're worthy because you're unique and the world needs your uniqueness. Only you can deliver what the world needs. You're here for a reason. And that reason is a positive one, not a negative one. That's why we focus on maintaining a positive excellence life trend, one of integrity, decency, courage and honor, strength and boundaries, creating inner and outer peace and kindness and authenticity. A lot of people think that being kind is being weak. Scammers prey on kind people, but the kindness in our community is a different flavor of kindness. In the general community, we have strength, we have boundaries, we do our own research, we find out what is from an integrity and decency perspective. And if kindness is on the cards to give, we, we give it. But if a boundary is in play, we give that too. So going back to scammers, the way that you recognize them, they always want to give you something for nothing. And if you think getting something for nothing is a good thing, you already know you're trapped in zone one and zone two. Zone three and zone four, talk about contributing back to the world. We give something, but to people who earn it, not just giving for no reason. It's really important to understand that distinction. When you see anything like this, and they're everywhere, they're on YouTube, they're on Twitter, they're on Facebook, scammers are just multiplying. They're just everywhere, but they're always the same. I will give you something for nothing. If you ever hear that, run. In Zone 3 and Zone 4, we also look at the terms investing and trading differently. We know that all investors become traders anytime they buy or sell. Hodling is really important. Having a diamond hand will take you through some really turbulent times. But being able to buy on red and sell on green, bore, sog, is equally as important. And that requires a diamond mind an absolute emotional mastery. Combining the diamond mind with the diamond hands, you become a full diamond. It's just awesome. Please be all that you can be. Don't narrowly define yourself. Let's quickly get some context from the main markets. And Masterclass students, you'll receive this live chart in TM6. We can see the VIX, the fear gauge of the market, the main market coming down. What does that mean? The NASDAQ 100 is coming up. Now, why do we care about this? We're a crypto only channel because Bitcoin's gravity is impacted by the stock market. This is one of those data points. When we do our detective work, we need to understand how the entire market is operating and what's happening to bond prices. They continue to be out of sync with the market and bond yields, conversely so, they're also out of sync. We can see the DXY starting to retrace, and this is good. When the dollar is strong, that throws a lot of financial pressure on the markets as well. And we can see also that gold is under support and had a little bit of a kick up, but the concept is gold is in a long-term uptrend. When we look at the price of oil, oil is starting to escape this resistance. Please bear in mind, Markets go up and what are, what else do they do? They come down, they go up, they go down, they come up, they go down. Profit is made when you buy. Looking at our own VIX gauge, the Crypto Fear and Greed Index, we can see the index is at 10. This is off the charts in terms of fear levels. And it was nine yesterday. We've seen that nine and 10 ratings generally coincide with the best opportunities to buy. And this would be the exact opposite time where people buy actually. They would be abandoning ship and selling. Turning to Bitcoin, Bitcoin is currently trading at 31,321. We can see that Bitcoin's price has fallen down dramatically. And when we get these sharp angles, they naturally reflect up. We've actually gained a level of support here at 30,814. There's a level of support below that at 28,940, below that at 26,595, and a very key one at 25,689. We have a level of resistance above at 33,434 and 35,640. We can see up around level four, which is 38,936. This is really, really important to get above. 
When we get above this, we've crossed one resistance and also another. When we trade consistently at 42.704 and above, we can say it's all back on. Please let me know in the comments, where do you think we're going to go? Is it a number or is it a letter? And which one is it? This is always great to do every day. And our community is really, really supportive. We absolutely encourage different views. Nobody has to have the same view. Your view is as unique as you are. We can see a very strong directional correlation between the NASDAQ 100 and Bitcoin. And what have we noticed recently? Because of that drop in fear of the VIX, the NASDAQ 100 rallied up. And what did Bitcoin do? You can see that these things are very important clues for you. One thing that you should be aware of, when we look at the longs and the shorts, the longs are this green line, and you can see they've exponentially taken off. The shorts are this red line, and you can see they've been collapsing down. When we look at longs and shorts, that's always a symbiotic relationship. The longs heat the market up, and you can see they've heated the market up here. They're trying to create buying and push the price up. The shorts try to cool the market down. And there's always a sort of a to and fro between the longs and the shorts. But as a community, we do not leverage trade because it's already built in. You don't have to worry about it. And we also subscribe to Zone 3 and Zone 4 thinking. Get rich slowly. Get wealthy slowly. Become a person of value that will support your wealth. One thing that I look at here, this exponential uptake in longs could get liquidated. If it gets liquidated, they will be forced sellers. They could create a long tail rejection like this. And there's a lot of very nasty news out there at the moment. So it's possible that that could happen. So that's why I'm placing my buy orders way, way down as low as I can get from the current price to as low as I can get. And the reason and logic for that is that we want to take advantage of these long tail spikes. And if price just keeps on going up and up, that's fine. I will just raise the buy orders or put new ones in at support. In the community, we borsog, we buy on red and sell on green, which is rule 621. Here's borsog, the price eagle, and he's screeching. He's really happy when he gets a buy on a red. And there's a lot more to it. It's not simply just buy on red, sell on green. A lot of people say, Borsog, that's so simple, Ken. You just buy on red and sell on green. That's like everybody knows how to park a car that has a driver's license. After all, we were taught how to park a car. But what's happening with this guy? He's taking two spots. Oh, naughty fella. What about this guy? Well, he's trapped the other car. What about this guy? Wow, he's definitely parked. Borsog is like doing this. You can Borsog to varying levels of success. That's why I say, everybody knows how to Borsog. It's just buy on red and sell on green. No, it takes knowledge, emotional control. And also, some people out there want you to be fearful. They don't want you to Borsog at all. You have to go through the process, go up all of the steps of learning. And just go slow to go fast. Don't worry about getting rich quickly. If you do that, you'll probably lose all your money. The other thing to bear in mind, we're just coming out of the weekend. Let's have a look at liquidations. We can see over the past 24 hours, $136.05 million across 58,521 positions. Over the past 24 hours, as we saw with the shorts, Predominantly short, nearly 71%. What about the past 12 hours? Even more, 76%. What about the past four? Whoa, ay caramba, 91%. What about the past hour? 80%. So that we can see there's a lot of shorting going on. The shorts are getting hit, but it looks to be turning around. So this is what you have to keep in mind. Every time we see shorts or longs getting liquidated, we always see both getting liquidated. Shorts and longs get liquidated. If you take up a short position and a long position to box in or hedge, you can get liquidated in both directions. Crypto is incredibly 
volatile and you need to make that volatility your best friend. The way to do that is to buy at spot. We can see we're getting a little bit of a kick up in futures open interest. We look at the derivatives market for guidance, but we don't participate in it. If you're a professional and consistently profitable and you're prepared to lose 100% or more of your portfolio, there's no problem at all with leverage trading. And why do I say 100% or more? Because depending on what way you go, when you get liquidated, you can lose more than your entire account value. Looking at Bitcoin options expiring at the end of the month, we can see the max pain price where the majority of options expire worthless is 36,000. And we can see that we've got puts down on $20,000 and also calls up to $80,000, even a little one up to 100,000. So the market is pretty skewed at the moment. Looking at the top 20 over the past two weeks, we can see Tron out in front, followed by FTT. Tron's the only one in the past fortnight that's actually made a positive return. The markets have been pretty brutal. Let's have a look at the top 100 over the past seven days. So we can see Maker out in front up 30.34%, KDA up 3.85%, and the rest are negative. What we can also see here is no alt escapes Bitcoin's gravity. They just move with greater percentages or lesser percentages, more great negative percentages as the case may be. And we can see Bitcoin is coming up. It's almost like a geological survey. You can see those layers, sediment layers, just pushed through Bitcoin's price action. Looking at the top cryptos, we can see Bitcoin has rallied up had a wave back and is rallying. It's overcome a level of short-term resistance. This is pretty good. It's being supported in an upward direction too. So just keep your eye on that. Now we need to enhance our pattern recognition. And you can see this blue line is Bitcoin's gravity. Notice how they all the alts move in alignment with Bitcoin's gravity, but to greater and lesser positive and negative percent variances. When we look at Ethereum, Ethereum is following Bitcoin's gravity. When we have really big sell-offs like this, we can expect a flight to safety. And what does that actually mean? That means that many, many people have been burnt on those thousand to one altcoins and they say, ouch, I need to get into something a little bit safer. So they can tend as price comes up to pull their money out of different alts and those different alts will come up as Bitcoin comes up as well but not by as much and we can get a big flight to safety into the big names for example Bitcoin, Ethereum, Binance Coin, XRP, ADA, Solana, Doge and DOT and that's actually what we're seeing right now. We can see Binance Coin following Bitcoin's gravity and also XRP Solana following, ADA following, Doge a little bit weaker. And this is surprising given Elon Musk's recent statement that Doge could be a payment system. Turning to community favorites, and I don't endorse any particular project. You must always do your own research and always anticipate price moving against you. That's the best default position to have. Let's have a look at Theta. Theta is following Bitcoin's gravity, but just being a little bit suppressed in price. T-Fuel is being very suppressed at current. SHIB is also suppressed. EGLD is pretty much moving on in alignment, but it's starting to roll over. Phantom is moving up with Bitcoin's gravity, but a bit suppressed. CHR is showing strength. Loopring is just basically obeying Bitcoin's gravity at the moment, as is Cosmos. Some more community favorites. Nia moving up in alignment with Bitcoin's gravity. And we can see Matic moving up in alignment. You'll see this time and time again. That's why I spend the time to go through these with you. Because if you understand the gravitational pull of Bitcoin and the alts, you're going to do really well in the crypto market. But you need a lot of knowledge. It's not just simply, I understand the gravity. I need, I know all I need now. There's so much, much more to it. Icon is moving in alignment, directional correlation with Bitcoin, as is veracity. 
Rose is as well. As well, Rune, IOST, and IOTA. Turning to the metaverse, we can see Sand and Axie moving in alignment with Bitcoin's gravity. We can see Decentraland, Mana. It's behaving very, very strongly against Bitcoin. Keep your eye on this one. Could be very interesting. Gala, also acting strongly, but just coming down, not getting this big kick up. Now, why do I say that? Because if you look at Bitcoin's gravity here, the current price of Bitcoin is above this peak. We go to this peak, the price of Gala should be up here. It's down here. That's what I'm talking about. There's a lot of nuance in understanding gravity. Engine coin, moving in alignment with Bitcoin's gravity. Ape is as well. When you want to know particular positions to get into with these cryptos, first look to Bitcoin. It's really, really important. Chili's getting over resistance and moving in alignment with Bitcoin's gravity. SLP looking much weaker than Bitcoin's gravity. Looking at some more community favorites, we can see Stellar following Bitcoin's gravity, but showing power on you, Stellar. CRV following Bitcoin's gravity as well, but less powerful. We can see waves underneath Bitcoin's gravity, but still moving in directional correlation. Arweave showing strength. Zilliqa underneath Bitcoin's gravity. Uni just following Bitcoin's gravity at the moment. FTX is looking stronger than Bitcoin's gravity just currently. And we can see Tron is has some kind of divergence from Bitcoin's gravity. This would indicate that potentially we're seeing something of a weakness in Tron at the moment. Just something to keep your eye on. Returning to Bitcoin, you can see how important this gravitational pull is on the entire crypto market. Where do you think Bitcoin is going to next? 1, A, or any of those letters, or any of those numbers in the next 24 hours, please let me know. And I think it's also really good to discuss the concept of kindness and the concept of boundaries as well. Kindness without boundaries is a big, big problem. And that's not what we stand for in the community. Kindness requ requires courage and honor, integrity and decency, strength, and also boundaries. Maybe you might like to discuss this in the comments because we know that money is a byproduct of becoming a person, a better person that can withstand that success. And you need to build up strength to do that. That's why it's incredibly important to understand without self mastery, that's all of those green boxes being ticked. Wealth disappears. And we know that whatever we went through yesterday is yesterday's news. Life resets daily. Life is just one big learning experience. And life is always waiting for you to get into zone three and zone four. Life is always waiting for you to be ready for abundance. And that abundance occurs in zone three and zone four, never in zone one or zone two. I hope you found the content useful. Please consider sharing and liking this video and also subscribing to the channel. We'd love to have you as part of our globally extended KS family. Thank you very much to our moderators for keeping our community safe from scammers and to the CTKS ambassadors for mentoring masterclass students. And of course, a very big thank you to you for watching and for being part of our global KS family. If you would like daily updates on price movements in the crypto market, seven days a week, 365 days a year, please subscribe to YouTube. I've left helpful links in the description of this video, such as the tax software I use. And it's really good to use taxation software or else you don't know what your buy and sell prices are effectively. And I've also left links to the Crypto Trading KS Masterclass. And please feel free to reach out to me on Twitter and directly message me anytime. Please remember, crypto is volatile. Always prepare yourself for the best and worst case scenarios. Reality will likely be between them. Stay safe out there, my friends. Take care and see you next time. Bye for now.